Oh, that's a really cool looking church. Hmm. Fortuna Memorial Library. Guess where we are? We are in Fortuna, California. See that? Eugene's pediatrician's appointment was here today. He's asleep now. As I was driving there, I noticed some interesting signs, which I promised myself I would videotape on the way out of town. All right, I'm starting to drive through Fortuna. Check out these signs. Do you see that symbol on the signs? The Freemason logo? These signs were put up by the Freemasons to honor people who are in the army. Maybe people who've died in the war. That's kind of funny because I think the Freemasons are the reason that the war is happening in the first place. I don't think that we would have so many wars in the world without groups like the Freemasons. Or that other group that meets at the Bohemian Grove. I'm not even sure what they call themselves. But those people are the reason we have wars. So it seems kind of contradictory, kind of hypocritical for them to honor people who've served or died in the wars that they caused. Hey man, thanks for dying for your country. Huh. Actually, thanks for dying to fill our pockets more full than they already are. I've never seen that before. Signs put up by the Freemasons with the Freemason symbol on them to honor people that have served in the war? It's just appalling. It's appalling. I can't believe that a city would have those up publicly. It's like announcing to the world, ha ha ha, our citizens are dying for our Illuminati. I'm absolutely, completely repulsed. If the Freemasons want to have wars, then they should go fight in them, not our youth. I found out about the Bohemian Grove which is in Monte Rio, California, a few hours south of here, a few years ago. I was visiting a friend in Guerneville, and he said, let's go to the Monte Rio Variety Show. I said, what's that? He said, it's a concert that they have every year. It's a concert with all of the men from the Bohemian Grove Society. If you don't know what the Bohemian Grove Society is, you should watch Alex Jones's documentary about it. Really telling. While I have mixed feelings about Alex Jones, I totally agree with him on that one. The Bohemian Grove is a bad thing. The people who go there are criminals. All of them should be arrested. And they're really bad people. They should not be running our country. They should not be running the world. And a lot of the people who go there claim they're Christian. I think they're actually devil worshippers, Satanists. You can't be Christian if you're going to that. You just can't be. Give me a break. I mean, I'm not a Christian, but I think I understand the basic teachings and concepts of Christianity enough to say that if somebody is worshipping a giant owl and burning people alive in satanic rituals at the Bohemian Grove, I think that disqualifies them as a Christian. I really don't care if you're a Christian, Jewish, Muslim, an atheist, Hindu, Buddhist, Wiccan, or anything. But I don't want to vote for somebody that lies about their religion. And that's why I have a problem with both Bush and Obama. Because Bush participates in this satanic Bohemian Grove ritual that they have every year in California. But he goes out and claims he's a Christian to get votes. Obama is obviously a Muslim. But he claims he's a Christian. Wow, it must be a popular thing for US presidents to lie and pretend they're Christian when they're not. Why can't they just be honest? Probably because they know that nobody would vote for them if people knew the truth. While I do believe that most people who join the army are good people, and they actually want to defend our country from real threats, it's also a fact that most wars are unnecessary 
and they're only for somebody's personal gain, usually somebody very rich. So I do not support any of the wars that America is currently involved in. And we seem to be involved in a lot of them. I don't even feel comfortable saying we. Americans do this all the time. They talk about who we are fighting. We are fighting Iraq. I'm not fighting in Iraq. I'm not at war with any Iraqis. But even Americans who are opposed to the war, they say we when they're talking about who America is fighting, who we are fighting. We shouldn't be fighting in Iraq. We shouldn't be fighting in Afghanistan. We should send troops somewhere else instead. They really should say they. You're not talking about yourself. Just because you're an American doesn't mean that you have to use the word we when you talk about what your government or your country is doing. Unless you're actually participating in doing it, you are not included in the we that's doing it. So stop using the word we. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be really offended by this video, just like they've gotten offended by my other videos, but I don't really care. I do not support the war in Iraq, I do not support the war in Afghanistan, I do not support the war in wherever else America is fighting. 9-11 was a hoax. 9-11 was not orchestrated by people in Iraq or people in Afghanistan. Even if you believe the official story, the official story says that most of the terrorists on the airplanes were from Saudi Arabia, but nobody's at war with Saudi Arabia. What? I don't believe the official story about 9-11? Am I one of those 9-11 truthers? You bet I am. I grew up where I could see the Twin Towers out of my bedroom window. I'm not happy that they're gone. It makes me mad. It makes me mad every day. But what makes me the most mad is that I do not know the truth about who destroyed the Twin Towers or about how they did it. I know the official story isn't the truth. I know that web pages like Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth probably have a better idea of what happened than the newscasters who broadcasted the official story, but they still don't know the truth. And the people who are responsible for that heinous crime are still out there in the world living their lives freely, and they have not yet been punished. And that's not right. So don't join the army. Don't join the army in America. Don't join the army in any country. Don't go to war. It's not a good thing. There's no country in the world right now that has an army that's actually there to protect its people. It might be there to protect its government or somebody in the government, but armies and wars do not protect people. They kill people. They hurt people. If you join the army, you will not be helping your country. Unless your government is completely honest and all of your citizens have complete access to all of their rights. If there's no government corruption in your country, if there's no police brutality, if none of your government leaders or your religious leaders are dishonest in any way, shape, or form, then maybe you should join the army. Or maybe not. Because there's no country in the world that meets those qualifications. Joining the army is not a good idea. War is not a good idea. War is not the answer. I support peace. And I would like to say, peace out. Watch my other videos on YouTube. And I've just got to say one more thing about my fortunate experience. I went to the little drive-up coffee house, Jitterbean Coffee, to get a cup of coffee before Eugene's pediatrician appointment. And I have never seen somebody wearing more lipstick. Ever. I tried to get a little video clip of it with my phone. If it came out, here it is. Now I'm really done with my video. Goodbye for real now. Or shall I say, peace out.